this is all facts. Now, Monroe, Louisiana, and all of Louisiana has the most evil people, the most corrupted ass, two faced, jazzy bell, narcissistic, demon spirited people in history of the multiverse and alternate timelines of the multiverse by far. It's no debate because let me tell you something it'd be so many human looking males and females at a grocery store that work there in these Monroe, Louisiana places. And they really not even true humanoids. They are fucking zombie ass demons pretending to be humanoid with their with their facade pretending to be soulful vibrational beings. And majority of them that I'm talking about are those that be in their 20s and 30s, man. And I'm going to get into the females being fake ass two faced motherfuckers in a minute, though, man. But let me tell you something, man, when you go. If you ever visit Monroe, Louisiana or just anywhere in Louisiana, you see a lot of zombie ass soulless vibrational people there that just very, very hateful towards soulful vibrational godly individuals. You know, it's all facts and it can't be denied. It can't be denied at all, bro. Like for real, like, man, this shit, man, this shit with these two faced motherfuckers in Monroe, Louisiana, man. It really is sick to my stomach to even think about, especially when I'm not there at all and having flashbacks and be like, man, these motherfucking evil ass people is so damn twisted there, man. And literally don't expect, don't expect a lot of these slave mind, Jazzy Bell, demon spirit people in Monroe, Louisiana to be exposing a slave owner narcissistic system. That be fucking humanoids over since slavery had began on planet Earth and a lot of these multiverses in this dang timeline, bro. Like, bro, don't ever expect that from fucking slave mind motherfuckers in Louisiana, man. Because they will they will be hating a godly soulful vibrational spiritual being. Every time a godly soulful vibrational being exposes a narcissistic slave owner agenda that goes on planet Earth. Man, a lot of these Jezebel demon spirit people in Louisiana be getting upset and be so triggered that a soulful vibrational godly individual is exposing the, the Jezebel demon slave system, man. And let me tell you about these fucking two-faced soulless vibrational females, right? Man, they is such a pain. They is such cringe. They is such nerve-wracking, bro. When it comes to these two-faced soulless vibrational females that are really demons pretending to be humanoids man it makes me want to fucking get a hammer and play whack-a-mole with their two-faced head ass because i don't even know which side of the face i want to fucking play whack-a-mole first whereas the left or the right side with these fucking demonic jazzy bell spirit females man and these demonic Jezebel spirit dudes in, in Monroe, Louisiana can get the same fucking treatment too when I play whack-a-mole with their head ass. Man, bro, let me tell you something, man. Any 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 individual that can't that that that's like birth in New York or birth in Washington, birth in California, birth in Arizona, birth in New Mexico, birth in Nevada, man, they will hate. A lot of these evil ass Jazzy Bell spirit people in, in Louisiana, especially Monroe. As soon as they take a visit there, they're going to be like, man, get me the fuck out of here, man. It's too many slave mind, demonic Jazzy Bell spirit females and males there, man. Literally, nothing but zombie ass robo toys out there, motherfucker, man. Like, literally, man. Literally. You know, because, man, bro. Any real spiritual being, they'll say they, they hate a lot of these motherfuckers out in Monroe, Louisiana. It ain't no spiritual, soulful, vibrational being in Monroe, Louisiana. I was the only one there. And now there's no more none of them there at all. Because <laughs> I left that motherfucker. Because that's, man, Monroe, Louisiana is a fucking dump. Just like the rest of Louisiana that's filled with all these Jezebel, demonic spirit, narcissistic females and males out there. You know, and majority of the, the, the demon Jezebel spirits out there in Monroe, Louisiana is like in their 20s and 30s age group brackets. Man, the 20s and the 30s age group back brackets of these Jezebel demon spirit females and males out in Monroe, Louisiana, man, especially the ULMs and the fucking 
man, the Louisiana Tech, you name it, bro. They is fucking Jazzy Bell, two faced motherfuckers, man. Nothing but fake ass people, man. And let me tell you something. That shit really is nerve wracking because it's nerve wracking to the brain. It, it really will make, it really will literally make a newborn baby commit suicide. It will make a newborn soulful vibrational baby of any animal or humanoid species go commit suicide when they witness these two-faced soulless vibrational females and males in Monroe, Louisiana, man. Like, bro, it only, and, and make matters worse, man, you got these evil-ass complex, these evil-ass apartment complex owners out there that that's fucking draconian demons. Man, bro, come on, man. Like, this shit, man, this shit is a fucking... This shit is a fucking hellhole. This shit is a fucking hellhole when you when you deal with or see these Jazzy Bell spirit demon motherfuckers out in Monroe, Louisiana. For real, nobody talks about this because nobody really had that experience out there. But I had that experience out there, and man, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was so damn terrible, man. Man, bro, man, individuals out in Phoenix, Arizona, East Rutherford, New Jersey, man, they would literally shake their heads and be like, man, I'm glad I don't live. I'm glad I don't live in no Monroe, Louisiana, man. Too many demonic Jezebel spirit people out there. For real, man. Seriously, man. And when it comes to these soulless vibrational two-faced females, of Monroe, Louisiana, man, like, bro, when they see a godly individual, if they do come across a godly individual, they be very hateful, be subliminal, and try to, like, you know, be, be all polite in the eyes in person when they see this godly individual somewhere out in public. But knowing that they hate this godly, soulful, vibrational individual, especially these brown skin, soulful, vibrational, godly individuals. Oh, it makes these two-faced, narcissistic, Jezebel demon females in Monroe, Louisiana very upset. Because a lot of these Jezebel demon females in Monroe, Louisiana are affiliated with Masons and fraternity motherfuckers. And you know me, I hate that shit. I hate that shit, man. Me having a granddad and a grandma that are both Indians. And then my dad is like Caribbean, bro. Come on, man. You know I hate that damn Freemason and that fraternity Jazzy Bell shit. And I don't fuck with any females that 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 went to ULM or or fucking affiliated with fraternity and Freemasonry. They is fucking demons right out the gate. I man, bro. I never fuck with them. Because I know they will always try to set up these godly soulful vibrational beings to be in a stressful times. When it's already stressful enough in this dang fucking bill paying money paying society. And I fucking hate money because money causes stress. You, you know, because the slave owner is not going to give humanoids fucking thousand to billions to octillions amount of dollars every day they don't want humanoids to be happy they want them to stress with with these fucking bill paying deadlines and shit so where like this money don't do shit man this money don't do shit to save a fucking multiverse it's, it, this money has not did anything to end a slave owner system man bro but that's gonna be a real that's gonna be a topic for another time Hating on these fucking slave owners Because I really hate these damn slave owners man And as far as these two-faced Narcissistic vibrational females In Monroe, Louisiana man Man let me tell you man They could be at a fucking Walmart A Super One A Win Ditsy A goddamn fucking uh, Foot Locker A Foot Action A Champ Sports A goddamn Raising Cane A goddamn fucking Berkshires A goddamn Sitco A, 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 a fucking Texaco you know, Chevron, like, it don't matter where it's at, man. It's a lot of soulless, vibrational, two-faced, Jezebel spirit females out in Monroe, Louisiana, in particular, man. And they not worth a godly, soulful, they not worth a godly, soulful, vibrational being's time at all. Because we, we godly individuals will literally fucking take a whistle and... And blow and blow a, a thunder beam windstorm 
in they fucking grill. In the Thunder Beam and the Windstorm are weapons from the Mega Man series. The very first Mega Man classic series because the Thunder Beam comes from Elect Man and the Windstorm comes from Wind Man. So I put them two together. You put a Thunder Beam and a Windstorm together, man, that's going to fucking fry and blow these fucking two-faced Jazzy Bell demon females of Mara, Louisiana away. Same with these fucking demon ass Jazzy Bell spirit dudes in Mara, Louisiana too. Because they the same fucking way. They the same fucking way, man. And let me tell you this, man. Any 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 soulful vibrational dude that takes a visit, if they was to fucking move to Louisiana or Monroe, Louisiana, period, man, and they's coming from North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Washington, Oregon, Massachusetts, man. They gon they gon they gon wanna be in the house all the damn time. Until they can relocate back to the place they came from after they got done dealing with some demonic evil ass motherfuckers out in Monroe, Louisiana. Because Monroe, Louisiana, man, it's the worst place to live. It's the worst place to live when you're trying to connect with soulful, vibrational, godly, spiritual beings that is highly intelligent. That has intuitional, mind, heart, and soulful, street smarts, logical, emotional intelligence. Because Monroe, Louisiana and Louisiana don't have no highly intelligent spiritual beings. They don't. It's full of fucking slave mind, two-faced, Jezebel, narcissistic demons out there, man. It's all facts. You can't deny it. And if you try to debate that, you was a fool. Because, man, slavery, of all slavery, began in the fucking places up called Louisiana. And that's all facts, man. The females, like, bro, the females is in their 20s and 30s, man. They're slave-minded, especially the Caucasian girls. We ain't going to get started with these fucking Negro pen, Jezebel spirit, Afro hair females in Monroe, Louisiana. We ain't going to get started with them. We already know they bunch of Negro pens with that Freemasonry and that fraternity bullshit and their fucking evil-ass cultures and shit. But, man, it's just as worse with these fucking, these fucking... Slave owner, slave mind, Caucasians out in fucking Louisiana and Monroe, man. Like, that shit is terrible, man. That shit is cringe in my eyes, man. I could never talk to them because let me tell you something, man. These two-faced, soulless, vibrational demons in Monroe, Louisiana, man. Let me tell you something. Anytime I do post on social media, I always, I, I always had got support from people in Washington, Oregon, Massachusetts, Arizona, Maryland, you know, California, you know, Texas, because those places are filled with more highly intelligent, intuitional, spiritual being, highly intelligent, into highly intuitional, intelligent, spiritual beings at that with the places that showed me support because I don't have any fucking I don't have no spiritual family. I never had no spiritual family in Places like Louisiana, Marvel, Louisiana, because there's so many soulless, vibrational, one track, slave mind, demon motherfuckers out in Louisiana. Louisiana is the home of Jazzy Bell spirits. That's where Jazzy Bell spirits came from. It came from Louisiana, man. It's all facts. You can't find this on Google because this stuff is with from intuition, man. You know, and I'm just telling you all facts, man. Like. Anytime I did get support from females, it will always been places like Washington, New York, Massachusetts, Michigan, Arizona, Texas, you know, places not named Louisiana to be exact. That's what I'm going to tell you. But man, that's all I'm going to say right now, man. And I can keep it going because it's a lot of fucking two-faced Whack a mole head ass built body bitches out in fucking Monroe, Louisiana. It's a lot of Telly Tubby Thomas the Train head built body bitches in Louisiana, in Monroe, Louisiana. It's a lot of fucking McDonald's hold me down with green ass and ham built body bitches in Monroe, Louisiana. It's a lot of fucking turn me up with the Burger King chicken nuggets and stale inspired fries built body bitches in Monroe, Louisiana too. But man, I can keep it going. But I'm gonna just hold it out right now, man. I might make a whole fucking freestyle of acapella called Built Body Bitches exposing these fucking 
two-faced soulless vibrations.